So you are welcome to stay and have a look about this with us. Gash Barka is one of the six regions of Eritrea, named after the two main rivers that flow through the region. It is situated in the southwest of the country, bordering the Ansabar region to the north and the central and southern regions to the east, Sudan to the west, and Ethiopia to the south. Baruntu is the capital of Gash Barka and is located on a plateau at about 980 meters above sea level and is the center of the Kunama ethnic group. During the rainy season from July to September, the surface of the riverbeds is almost full, but even during the extensive dry season, the water table is high along the major river valleys, enabling trees to flourish all year round. With an area of 37,000 square kilometers and a population of 567,000, the Gash Barker region makes up roughly one-third of Eritrea. Many call this region the breadbasket, as the region is rich in agriculture. There are over 3.5 million livestock in this region and many camels. The region is also rich in marble and other important minerals, including gold. This naturally attracts a high density of birds and a good diversity of species, especially in the Aurdat and Marab areas. The best time to visit Gash Barka is just after the rainy season, from July to September, when most plants are flowering and all green. Then 
The view of the Zoba Gashbarka in terms of tourism industry mainly depends on its eye-catching landscape like that of the chain of mountains and its surrounding and the vast plain lands of Gash and Barka, the vast and modern agricultural land of Gersat, the two Fankos, Afimbol, and moreover, the wildlife and birds that are found in every place of the region and more importantly, the elephants that are found only in the region. There are a good number of wildlife species, including African elephants, greater kudu, water ducks, and others. Bird life of the area is particularly rich. African elephants in Eritrea are mostly found in the northern range of the region. Their population has shown a gradual increase. Setit River flows throughout the year, and it is crucial for the existence of elephants in this most northern limit of African elephant range, not only in Eritrea, but also in the continent. Further to the south, on the border with Ethiopia, the Setit River Valley, with its various types of trees and palms, provide recreation and pleasure for tourists. The government of Eritrea, realizing the importance of the wildlife and especially elephants to the much expected future growth of tourism industry in the region, has set a vast reserve land along the Gush and Setit rivers as a national reserve for the elephants and other wildlife species. The national reserve is bounded by the Gush River in the north and the Setit River in the south. Zoba Gash Barka is very rich in its resource in terms of agriculture, forests and animal life, both domestic and wild and mineral resources. The modern agricultural facilities at Gerset and the two Fankos, the gum trees found around Omhajar and the crocodiles, leopards and hyenas and a variety of minerals makes the region rich in all aspects. Wildlife tourism is an important part of the tourism industries in many countries, including many African countries. It has experienced a dramatic and rapid growth in recent years worldwide. In this respect, the large mechanized farms that are found in the region could fall into this type of tourism, where people could go visit the farms on their way buying produce directly from the farms and picking fruits and staying there, enjoying the clean air and the sweet breath of the trees, vegetables and grass.
In our case, the elephants in and around Augaro, the wildlife surrounding Omhajar and other places of Gachparka are perfect places for this kind of tourism. Due to its various types of crops found in Gachparka, Eritrea has the potential not only to feed its own people, but could also export different agricultural produce, a variety of fruits like bananas and vegetables overseas in a short period of time. Wherever the Gash Parker region is mentioned, what comes to mind are the palm trees and their dates and household products made from the palm trees and, of course, the elephants. The difference is that palm trees are static and elephants are always in motion. And so, one does not get the chance of meeting the elephants at random. He or she has to choose a specific date and time and has to wait for hours. Gash Parka is one of the richest zones in ethnic diversity. All except one of the Eritrea's nationalities inhibit this zone. Kunama, Nara, Hadarb, Tigre, Tigrinya, Saho, Bilen and Rashida live in this region. Barantu, Aordat and Tesene are its largest towns. For this, the region is very rich in cultural diversity, customs and traditions. Almost everything that is found in the country is there in the Gash Parka. <laughs> Our debt is located next to the Barka River at 600 meters above sea level and is a significant agricultural center producing bananas, mangoes, and other fruits and vegetables. Although the river is dry for most of the year, there are lots of trees along the banks and on the far side of the river, there are several plantations, such as the Agurtat Agricultural Station, which usually attracts a good variety of bird species. <laughs> Come on, let's go. 